Okay, so I'm here on the home page and what I'd like to do today is show you how to add styles or CSS to your your website. And you can do that with a module for Drupal. This is the asset injector module. All right, so we are going to install that. Okay. Right click the download link, choose copy link, go up to our website, choose extend, and then um, add new module, and paste the link, choose continue. All right, let's enable this module here. Okay, and in the filter field, um, let's type asset. There it is. Click it, install. All right, the module has been successfully enabled. Okay, so now we're gonna go to configuration and um, we're going to scroll down to where it says Asset Injector under the Development section. There's Asset Injector. And you have CSS Injector and JavaScript Injector. We're going to click on CSS Injector and then um, add a CSS Injector. I'm going to title this one All Pages because this is going to be a style sheet that's going to be applied to all my pages. It'll be a global style sheet. And now I'm going to pause the video and have you add your own CSS to your website. Okay, so we are back and I've applied some CSS to my website. I've made it so that my logo is in the middle of my website and I have links up at top. Um, so I've worked a little bit with my blocks section of my theme and so I've applied those links to the main navigation area of my my theme and um, I've also changed some of the colors of the links and if you go ahead and um, modify your screen by making it smaller here, you get to see what it looks like on cell phones, um, on the mobile devices. So this is what it's going to look like on a mobile device. Notice the, um, for my theme, I don't have the um, main links in my mobile view. All right, so that's how to install asset injector and use it for CSS. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the admin section and um, go to configure and I'm going to show you that when you apply your CSS you're always going to want to um, to clear your cache and so to do that you go to the admin configuration and under the development section you see performance and clear all caches. So I do this with each um, style that I apply to my web pages. I clear the cache. That's pretty important if you're working with um, style sheets. Alright, and so now I'm going to go back to Asset Injector, CSS Injector and I have this is my style sheet here and it's applied to all pages so these are the changes I've made with the styling of my website I also have a front page style sheet although the condition set to global I'm going to change that so that it's only applying to the front page of my website I have a style here
and down here where you see pages you would want that if you want it to apply to just the front page you would type in front and choose save and there you go